Yo, what's going on you guys? Brady KG back with another NFL video. And I got, you know, a weird update for you guys regarding the quarterback position in this year's draft for the Carolina Panthers. And Thomas Davis, who is a former linebacker for a very long time with the Panthers, and he retired as a Panther. And he was on, you know, ESPN or NFL Now, whenever, whatever it was. And he was talking about, you know, with all the other analysts who say Bryce Young is the consensus number one overall pick for the Panthers. Um, he disagrees, which he has an interesting take. Take a look. He'd be a great fit in this organization. You look at Bryce Young, you look at his resume. The kid was a Heisman Trophy winner last year for a reason. And then when you put guys around him like Alabama has, he played in the SEC, the highest level of competition in football, in college football. I just think that he's going to come in and he would fit well in Carolina if they were going to draft him. But like you said, DJ, I don't think that he's going to be their pick. I think it's going to be a very, very surprising pick in Carolina. Oh, but I mean, I will say this. If this pick happens that who I think that they are in love with, I'm not a fan of it. Okay, wow. so hold on. You, just, can't, wow. you can't do that. You have just to say that. spill the beans here. I, I, Take I just, that. I just, know, I just wow. know that there are a couple of guys upstairs that, that are enamored by the physical ability of Anthony Richardson. I'll just Wow. Mm. One overall. That will have some fun. Uh, well, yeah. Last time they took a quarterback one overall, it was Cam. So, like, you know, right? I mean, this they, they he's not Cam Newton. No. He's not Cam Newton. I, we watched this kid play a lot. Um, just oh. for me being an SEC oh. guy, I he has all the physical characteristics of being a really good quarterback in the NFL, but I don't think that he he's going to be that great player that the Carolina Panthers need to take them to the next level. When you look at Bryce Young, what he brings to the table, he's a proven winner. When you look at C.J. Stroud, what he brings to the table, this kid has proven he can win football games. Anthony Richardson, on the other hand, Will Levis, on the other hand, those guys have been in programs that could – potentially be good, but they just haven't been. And it's the reason, had, to me, has been the quarterback position. And did you hear him? He seems to start talking about Anthony Richardson, which is a really interesting take for a quarterback to go one of his caliber. You know, he definitely is a freak athlete. He has, like Thomas Davis said, you know, all the physical attributes to be a great NFL player. And he thinks it would be really crazy for them to draft him at one, obviously. It'd be a really crazy thing. There'd be a lot of controversy around it. Uh, you know, as myself, I think Carolina selects CJ Stroud, no doubt. I don't have, I have all the confidence in the world that they're gonna pick CJ Stroud. Um, I don't see them picking Bryce Young, but the whole message around Thomas Davis say, saying, you know, they're gonna pick Anthony Richardson potentially is I've seen a lot of things potentially to throw a smoke screen at teams possibly wanting to trade up Houston Houston wants a guy like Bryce Young they want you know they want a quarterback as well and Carolina to say these things that they're in on four quarterbacks potentially this is to you know to lure the Texans into trading up for the first pick and then the Panthers can get back some compensation but one of the sad things about that is Scott Fitterer, who had a press conference yesterday, said that no team has reached out to them about trading up, um, which I mean, obviously, the Panthers traded up really early in this offseason. You know, you don't really see those t big blockbuster trades in the draft until weeks on, like weeks later, like more into April. And I'm not surprised. Maybe there'll be some offers come draft night, you know, with Houston. I think Houston's the most likely team to trade up. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I, I thought about the Raiders for a second, but that I think they trade down too far for Carolina's liking after giving up DJ Moore and two first round picks in two seconds. Definitely. But it's really interesting to hear Thomas Davis talk about, you know, Anthony Richardson potentially being a Panther. And it's interesting because of how he, you know, he called it, he didn't say he was Cam Newton. You know, the other analysts say that he was, you know, the last time they picked someone that high was Cam Newton. And that's, you know, Cam Newton is Anthony Richardson's, like, best comparison, I guess you could say. And he doesn't call him Cam Newton. You know, he's himself. He's a different player. Um, and he's, you know, he still has high praise for Bryce Young and CJ Stroud. Sounds like he is definitely leaning towards, you know, don't mind my cat. 
he definitely is leaning towards the picks of CJ Stroud and Bri or Bryce Young, it sounds like to me. But it's interesting for him to bring up, like I said, Anthony Richardson as a potential candidate. Obviously, they're going to want to look at all four quarterbacks, but if they're going to trade up all the way to one. They know who they're going to pick. It's one of the two options, without a doubt. <laughs> it's CJ Stroud or Bryce Young. Those are the two options. I don't see a world where they pick Anthony Richardson. I don't see a world where they pick Will Levis. I don't think Will Levis is going to be in the you know first 10 picks. He might, he might fall out the first. He was hyped up because the Panthers could have picked him because they need a quarterback but and and then you know in addition to anthony like you know players t talking about anthony richardson luke keekley who was also a former panther as all of you know he also has high praise in anthony richardson and he also says it reminds him of cam newton it reminds him of, of that you know play style that cam brought to the team you know his physical attributes and it's you know it's it's crazy that you know here too of Panthers, former Panthers players have such high praise for a guy who has a lot of, you know, controversy coming into this draft. You know, people thinking, is he going to be good? Is he, you know, accurate enough to be in the, in the league? You know, can he be a starter in this league? And it's, it's, it's cool to hear, you know, former Panthers players talk, you know, so highly of him, even though, you know, before and after trading up too. And, you know, it's really interesting to just come on here and talk about that because I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about Panthers picking Anthony Richardson. I don't, I don't know how to feel about Panthers players talking so highly of him. But, we'll, you know, of course, we have some pro days coming up. We have CJ Stroud's pro day coming up whenever you see this. If it's today, if it's tomorrow, um, I think it, yeah. Whether it's today or tomorrow, you guys see this. It um, most likely you guys are gonna be seeing this tomorrow, and it's gonna be Cedar Strauss Pro Day. I'm gonna make a video on that, and then Thursday, Bryce Young make another video on that. I think Anthony Richardson is Friday. We're gonna have to wait and see those pro days, but you know, just wanted to come on here and talk about you know that interesting take that we yeah I had saw on ESPN whatever you know broadcast they were on. It's just interesting to hear him talk about that. But let me know what you guys think about this. If you think the Panthers have any chance of picking Anthony Richardson. If you agree with Thomas Davis and Luke Keekley, let me know. Um, I'd love to see you guys' feedback. I love, you know, I love responding to comments and, you know, talking to you guys. You know, it's really cool to hear you guys' opinions. And if you guys agree with me, if you guys disagree with me, if you guys have other opinions that you guys, you know, think of, you know, I really enjoy doing that, you know. I really appreciate you guys, you know, liking and subbing and uh, commenting, all those great things that you do. Really means the world to me, once again. And that's all I got for you guys today. Stay tuned for tomorrow for CJ Strauss Pro Day. I'm going to summarize that. That's all I got for you guys today. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.